Season's greetings everybody, and welcome to the Christmas special. Now if you're new to this channel, I'd like to explain a few things. I work inside a family auction house, and I started this YouTube channel of September this year. And every week, every Saturday, I upload videos talking about items in the sale. Antiques, collectibles, vintage items, memorabilia. I tell you what I know about them, I give you my idea of a price guide, and then we see if I got it right in the auction. Now a few months ago, I met with the other auctioneers to celebrate the channel reaching 100 subscribers. And also for Jamie, he'd just broken his personal best as an auctioneer, selling a violin for over a thousand. Now as the drinks flowed, we still got, soon got to talking about antique dealing and what things would be like on the other side of the fence from what we do, and whether we'd be any good at it. A few more drinks went down and before you knew it, a bet had started. And we thought, how successful would we be at being antique dealers? So we challenged one another to spend little more than 50 pounds out there at a car boot sale or antiques fair, buy something, bring it back to auction and sell it for profit. Now whoever made the most money would be the winner and we agreed that the losers would take the winner out for dinner. Now we made a film about the whole process and we decided we we're gonna show it in December, around Christmas time. Now as this is the season of goodwill, we decided to donate the whole proceeds to charity and we picked Bluebell Wood and Rain Rescue. So let's watch the film together and I'll put in where necessary and give you my input. Toothpaste. Nice and early, we've come to Young at Carbo to see if we can snag a few bargains of this. Come on, go. Let's get some bargains. We're off inside. Excuse me, sir. Yep. How much is the uh, Jade Pendant? Though? 30 any good? Will that do it? Go on. Go on then, you got a deal. Hi Joseph. Morning. Uh, it's a good price, 35 quid. weeks after that car boot sale, just before the items were due to go into the auction, the three of us met to unpack our items and show each other what treasure we discovered. This is exciting, isn't it? Who's going first? Uh, you should go first. No, you should go oh. first. Let's see what you've got. First, first item, or items, should I say. Mm -hmm. One them. one lump should come out. Nice thing, Graves, aren't they? What are they for? Yeah, they're like uh, the first. They're backwards. Yeah, they're all reverse, pr uh, obviously engraved. The copper printing plates for uh, for like a chemist or an, or, or, you know, a um, optician. Uh, sort of very early 20th century. A couple of late 19th century ones in there. What is the scrap price? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think they'll uh, I think they're a good uh, speculative lot, aren't they? I think they. What do you give for them then? Fifteen. Oh, that's that's. Fifteen for them. I too. think you're all right. It's probably yeah. a five yeah. in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit of profit. Go on, what else you got? You got and anything then, else? And then we've got this. Oh, you bought Lalique? No. Not Lalique? No, not Lalique. It's, I think it's English uh, Art oh. Deco. Lalique style. Yeah, Lalique yeah. style. Nice though. Yeah. Look. No damage. No damage. Good condition. Those Very good. Those feet there, look. Yeah. Any marks on it? <laughs> what would you give for that? At 20. Right. Shall I reveal mine? Yes, yeah, come on then. I've gone for an antique. All oh, right. <laughs> <coughs> what do you think of that? Oh, that's nice. Nice, nice decoration. So it's Persian, 18th century, and it's a little tobacco box. Yeah. Mm. And it's decorated underneath as well. Oh, oh yeah. unusual. Been yeah. polishing it, have you? Yeah. No, no, I've polished it. It's in not bad condition. It's had a bit of a solder repair underneath, but. Um, uh, I gave 30 for that one. 30 already. That's yeah. good. But I think that, I think that should be 40 to 60 all day long. 
Not bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. I got this as well. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. two purchases. As an item. Have a look at that. I'll save that for a minute. Yeah. No tobacco smell. No tobacco <laughs> there. So yeah, thirty p. Yeah, that's good enough. I think yeah. forty yeah. to six. I don't think it's a winner, but I think it's going to push me in the right it's direction. A winner, isn't it? <laughs> and then next up, <clears throat> something right in the correct category. A bit of Asian art, I'd oh, say. Yeah. Asian a art. Bit of jade, an amulet, yeah. and it's nice to carve a little fruit bat and this little beastie there. Nice yeah. mottled jade uh, on a little leaf, and that, that that I paid thirty for that as well. Oh yeah. But I think that could be that could be speculative. That could be the one that pushes me into the into the win. That's nice. Do Almost spinach, figures. spinach as well. <clears throat> I think it's gonna do three figures. I'm hoping it's yeah. Paid thirty. I think I put forty to eighty estimate is what I'll yeah, put on it. But I like it. I wouldn't be surprised to see that do a hundred, but uh, we'll see. Let's All see. Right, well, what, well done. Let's, let's see what your dad's got then. I didn't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got this. I didn't want him see, you know, being outdone and looking at your gear, but now I'm, I'm not afraid to take this off. Uh, it's bronze, it's from uh, Vienna, and in the style of Bergman, or so I thought, because when I gave him a clean, underneath his bike left leg, it's stamped, so it's from the... Franz yeah. Xavier Bergman factory. So I think we've had it, very we? happy about it. And you got it. this at the car boot, did you? I got this at the car boot, oh, came yeah. in under budget. Oh dear. But there is damage. I mean, there's damage, there's a big crack along underneath there. On Let's this have a look pivot. at his face. And there's a star crack underneath. He's got a good face on him, nice. He's a nice face. I like his, like his little outfit. His painting, his, some of his paints come off, but. That striping on the shirt's lovely though. It, it is, it's yeah. very well painted. Yeah. What did you give for it, Paul? Well, it came in under budget, but it was close to, to the budget top. Oh, I don't know how much. 34. No, <laughs> 34. we've had it, haven't we? We've had it. Uh, so, yeah. on the table then, what are you most afraid of in this competition? Um, the jade, I think. The, the little jade piece. Mm. I have to say, I'm most afraid of the cold painted bronze. Yeah, it's, uh, I was worried about your gear, but now I've seen that. I mm. think that's the one, innit? That's the winner. Yeah, look forward to the auction and we'll, uh, we'll see. Well done. Yeah, well done. Yeah, some interesting things there. And not bad, I don't think, to say we did all that just in one one visit. Out of the items there, what, what do you think is going to make the most money? And who do you think is going to win? Well, the next step anyway was for Jamie and I to go and visit Rain Rescue. Hi, Jamie. Welcome to Rain Rescue. Hiya. Charity. I like to think we also help people too and we focus on those animals and people most at risk in our society. So what would you say the day-to-day -day activities are for you guys here at Rain Rescue and where would you say that the, the funding is most needed? For us the biggest challenge is exactly that, it is the fundraising side of things because Rain doesn't focus on an animal and go it's going to cost this much um, it looks at animals indiscriminately. So what is the future for Rain Rescue? So we're hoping to be here right through in the years to come and we've got some exciting developments on the horizon. One that we're going to need all of the support from our individual uh, donors right through to those corporate sponsors we're hoping to uh, get to achieve those. And hopefully we'll, we'll have a new centre with a whole new lease of life and something that will help us to reach out to even more animals. Look how happy he looks, just fun to be out playing. It's a real shame I'm going to have to take him back to work shortly. And what struck me first about Rain Rescue was how professional and how clean it was. I've been to these sorts of places before and not really seen the same sort of thing. So at Rain, when we headed into that cat hotel, or I don't know what the technical term for it was, just before we went in, I mean I'm a cat person, but before we went in, I braced myself for, you know that catty smell? But it just wasn't there, just so clean, just a lovely environment for all those animals. Now Rain Rescue are taking three to four hundred animals every year. And they say a donation as little as five pounds can see a homeless pet warm, fed and safe this Christmas. Now our other charity, Blue Bellwood, I went to visit and for obvious reasons we didn't do any filming. 
But what surprised me about the place is, being a children's hospice, I had these preconceptions of it being a quiet and upsetting, sad place full of rows and rows of beds of sick children. But it's not like, like that at all. It's a colourful and lively place. A place for families to build memories and, and to hopefully share on some happy times. Now it takes four million pounds every year just to keep the doors of the place open, to keep the place running. And to put that in real world terms, that's 11,000 pounds every single day Bluebell would have to find. Only 10% of that comes from government funding. Now Bluebell Wood did send over a video, so we'll have a little look at that. If you want to see the rest of that video, you can head over to bluebellwood.org forward slash who we are. Now, on with the contest. Now, did you decide who you thought the winner was and which item made the most money and if any, which didn't make any money at all? Well, it's time to find out. And now we'd got a winner, it was time to head over to a fancy restaurant to give the winner his reward and to review the sale. century uh, engraved copper printed plates, mostly for chemists. Uh, will they be on those 20 pounds? Let's see. 10 then if you must. 10 bid online with sale. Looking for 15. Any advance? 15 bid. 20. At 15 in the room, 20 with you. At 15 pounds. And if you're all done and sure. <laughs> so Jamie, how disappointed were you in your printing plates mate? <laughs> Very cool. Spot 356 is the Art Deco Blue Frosted Glass Rose Bowl in Lalique style. Uh, bids with the internet at £20, take 25 in the advance. 25 bid, 30, 35, 40. 35 I've got in the room, 40 I need from the internet. 40 bid, 45, 50. At 45 and selling. So broke even with the, with, uh, with the first lock, but you know, made 20 pound clean profit on the boat. So I think overall yeah. that's not bad, and it all goes towards the grant. 25 pounds profit for Jamie, and 60 pounds overall to add to the coffers. Uh, lot number 87 now, late 18th century Persian brass tobacco box of rectangular form. Uh, internet bids at 25, take 30 in the advance. Bids at 25 pounds online, looking for 30 in the advance. Yes, 30 bid, 35. Bids at 30 pounds at 35, let's see, 35, 40, yes, sir. 45, 50, 45 pounds in the room then, all done and sure, at 45 pounds and selling, well, it's a start, 15 pounds profit. Lot 73 now is the 19th century Chinese muffled jade uh, amulet, uh, internet bids with sale room at 40 pounds, 45, let's see any advance. Yes sir. 45, 50, 50 front row, 60, 70, at 60 pounds, at 70 with it. Bids at 60 with live auctioneers. All done and sure then at 60 pounds and away. Yes! Doubled up. That gives me 45 profits overall and 105 to the coffers. 
Jamie's in second place. Come on. Block 231 now, the Franz Savio Bergman. Cold painted bronze mounted oval glass trinket bowl. Surmounted with a figure. Uh, bids mine on the book. I can start at £40, £45 I'm asking from the internet. 45 bid, 50, 60, 70, 80, oh, 90, no. 100. Bids mine at £90, looking for £100. 100 front row, commissions are out. We're in the room now, commission bids Sorry. out at 100. Oh, 120, 130, bids at 120 front row in the room, 130 we're looking for, 130, 140, 150, at 140 in the room, 150, 160, 170, 160 in the room then, looking for 170, 170, 180, at 170 with live auctioneers, 180 we're looking for, at 170 now, all done at your 170 pounds. No! Oh. You know, you invite somebody on your channel the goodness of your heart to come and help and they don't just beat you by a little bit no they just smash you into humiliation i basically got lucky the guy didn't know what he got and i stumbled upon a bargain i mean these things are out there and it's been quite humble there luck had nothing to do with it really it's the years and years and years of experience that he's got over the two of us but, uh, but no, everybody did really, really well and we've done good profit for charity. Let's have a look. The totals are, let's see, Jamie added 60, I added 105. Dad with his 136 pounds profit added 170. That's a total of 335 pounds. Split down the middle, 165 for each charity. Now the video's almost over. I'm just gonna ask you to do four things for us. Now the first thing is to help us to boost that total we've raised for these two charities. In the description of the video just below you'll find two links, one for each charity to a Just Giving page. This is totally secure, you can use your card, you can use PayPal, whatever you want. Now I'm not going to insult your intelligence by showing you pictures of these poor little kittens and puppies who don't have a home or any food. I'm not going to remind you of the video we watched. I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to insult your intelligence. You know what great causes they are. Please head over there, add a little amount, add a lot, whatever you want, maybe to one, maybe to both. That'd be great. Now, three more things I'm gonna ask of you are all for this channel. If you've enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and the notification bell. Have a brilliant Christmas. And I'll see you in a week.